Mer Polorin Zanot, Dr. Rubina Piromian. She holds a PhD degree in Near Eastern Languages and Cultures at, from UCLA. She has taught Armenian studies. She has lectured widely. She has done presentations. And she's also an author of many scholarly journals, chapters in books, volumes of books, and also in teaching uh, <clears throat> of the Armenian genocide. Uh, she has authored Armenia in the Sphere of the ARF Bolshevik Relations, 1917-1921, as well as a series of textbooks on the Armenian question, also in Armenian for high school students. It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Piromian. Mikani Bar Hayrenov, whose memory of Chung Han said, Bolor Nerans for and the Zoom Hyde Netsin, Boroketsin, were in two years Hayrenov, Chemner Gas, Nedu, I saw Vazekwitzer, Chigitam Skazbits at Pestasa were Vazer, were on Renov, but Kenner Gasne, but inch for Pidiner Gasnam shot on Pope, Yev Aveli, Yerkar Tarberag, Te Hayrenov, Yev Te Anglerenov. Dursa or in Aknerkon. Yet a hetash was linek, Dursi Sahani Vrate, Hirenov, Yefte Anglerenov, in a survey, the good span, Yerkar Tarberak Nera and Dekon. Okay. During the past few months, as Armenians in the diaspora and in Armenia were gearing up to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the rebirth of the uh, Armenian statehood, one could also detect a negative vibe, a sort of uneasiness, uh, an unwillingness uh, to give importance to the event. Like a campaign to demean the role of Dashnak Tsuchun, in the life of the independence republic, to contrive justifications for the subversive activities of the Armenian Bolsheviks and cover up their crimes and murders before and after the Sovietization of Armenia, and to play up the old tune of Russia, the savior of Armenia and the Armenian people. I hope that the people's revolution today with a vision of new Armenia that is going on currently in Armenia, with the vision of new Armenia free of the opportunist, self-serving, and corrupt leadership and the leading party, will also change people's perception and assessment of the past 100 years to confute the statement I just made as an opening to my presentation. So I dedicate this presentation to the present and the future efforts of students of history who are engaged and will engage in the study of the short but critical period of history with open minds, free of the traditional Soviet prejudice, free of the influence of the distorted history they were fed throughout 70 years of Soviet rule and beyond. From a young age, I was brought up with the idea of free, independent, and united Armenia becoming a reality one day. After all, my father was suffering in Stalin's gulag because he believed in that ultimate goal of the Armenian nation. And I was growing up as an orphan with all its deprivations, but proud of my father's courage and devotion. My generation was blessed to have as leaders and role models those who had dedicated their lives to the realization and sustenance of the free republic of Armenia. Political leaders, 
intellectuals, soldiers, fedais, kidna, khambabets, uh, who all had taken refuge in Iran after the Sovietization of Armenia. I was inspired and proud of their achievements, but disgruntled when I read about the destructive activities of Armenian Bolsheviks who used any and all means to abolish the free Republic of Armenia, conspire in the loss of the lands to Tatars and Turks, and hand the remainder, the remnants, over, the, over to Russia. My book, Hayastana Hohida Bolshevi Karaberu Chuneri Bolortum, Hazainar Tasni Yot Ksanmek, Armenia in the Sphere of ARF Bolshevik Relations, 1917-1921, published in 1997, was a product of my preoccupation with this subject. My source of inspiration to write the book was Professor Richard Hovanisian and his five volume monumental work on the Republic of Armenia. And Gertar Daron just said that uh, Professor Hovanisian guides the Reds. It guides the Imserti Selkapav, Yevaskarki, Herinaguchuna, Nranovandets for Patmuchan, Ashak Usanochei, Yev Gragan Muchan, Harevan Remen. Atori Usanorei, Grag Anuchan, by its Patmuchuna Sertis Hosets, Haidata, a Patmuchuna. Armenian Bolsheviks were not a significant presence in the Caucasus. They had no influence on Armenian life, but they boycotted the Eastern Armenian National Congress convened in Tbilisi after the Russian Revolution. Collaboration and unity with the Armenian bourgeoisie, they declared, was treason against the internationalist proletarian tactics and revolution in favor of the Armenian imperialistic petty bourgeois led by Dashnak Tuchun. However, there were some attempts at cooperation between the two parties. The joint effort to create a free Western Armenia Western Armenian state, was foiled by hardliner Bolsheviks, Anastas Mikoyan and Isahak Dovlatov. Mikoyan specifically st uh, stated that in such circumstances, when Armenians were being annihilated in Turkish Armenia, it was not only wrong to raise the issue of Turkish Armenia, but it was dangerous for the interests of international revolution. Another case of cooperation occurred in the preparation of a historical document, historically documented text to substantiate Armenian demands that Vahan Deryan, deputy chair of the Commissariat of Armenian Affairs, was to submit at the Brest-Litovsk peace conference, peace talks. Deryan was not given a chance to speak at all. Lenin had his agenda and Armenian interests were the last thing in his mind and the first to be sacrificed. He pursued the spread of Bolshevism as an ideology and a mode of governance. It was not important who would be the temporary rulers and occupants of Turkish Armenia, Turks or Armenians. A curious example of ARF uh, intolerance of Bolshevik rule for the sake and of the safety and security of the Armenian people is the collaboration between Stepan Shahumyan and the ARF in Baku. Shahumyan used the ARF's uh, influence and its military force, Rostom was there, uh, to fight against the uh, Musavatist and Tatar insurgents and, there, uh, and later against the Turkish army. However, he repeatedly sent adverse reports to Moscow. Shaumyan was also totally against independent states in the Caucasus. In a letter to Lenin, dated June 23, 1918, he wrote, our international situation in the Caucasus is terrible. Independent Georgia, independent Azerbaijan, as though independent Armenia. 
ironically, while the, uh, he deemed the German-Turkish accord to be the biggest enemy of the Soviet regime in the Caucasus and vowed not to uh, give the Turks drop off, a drop of Baku oil, Lenin was extending a hand of friendship to the Turks and promising Baku oil to Germans. I will not expound on the last days of the Baku Commune and the escape and murder of 26 commissars, Shaumian among them. Suffice it to say that the Commissariat of Armenian Affairs in Moscow blamed Dashnak Suchun for Shaumian's murder. Shaumian was idolized as a national hero. They forget how anticipating a Turkish massacre of Armenians if the commissars left Baku Shaumian had responded, we are carrying out a universal revolution during which peoples and nations may be annihilated. How sad if in the course of building socialism, the Armenian nation is sacrificed. After the Armenian Declaration of Independence, the breach between the ARF and the Armenian Bolsheviks grew wider. Dashnak Tsuchun, being the key player, came under heavy uh, criticism from the Armenian Bolsheviks, for whom the idea of an independent state was preposterous. They sabotaged every attempt at a rapprochement with Moscow rulers. Uh, indeed, at the uh, Third uh, International, March 1919, Gurgen Haikoni had declared, National independence is a perfidy of the counter-revolutionaries to destroy Bolshevism. Uh, the Republic of Armenia is a mocking insult to the workers and peasants. And the Armenian government is a pack of bandits. The Armenian Communist Party will struggle until the ultimate victory of Bolshevism in, Iran, in Armenia. A resolution adopted by the ARF 9th General Congress in Yerevan, September 1919, delineated the ARF's to become also the government's Soviet policy. It reads, despite our complete goodwill toward the Russian people and the political revival of Russia, our diplomacy should resist the Russian government's attempts to spread Russian domination over the former Russian Armenia and hindered the realization of united Armenia. How true it is right now today in Armenia. This resulted in a wave of Bolshevik co condemnation. Anastas Mikoyan wrote, the Armenian chauvinists are pushing forward the culpable and chimerical idea of creating a great Armenia within the boundaries of historical Armenia. Our party cannot support the idea of neither a great nor a small Turkish Armenia. Now compare these acrimonious statements and subversive activities with the efforts of the ousted Ittihadist leaders in Moscow and Europe to effect an, uh, an accord between Bolshevik Russia and Kemalist Turkey and secure Russian assistance to Turkey. The Turks and the Bolsheviks were joining hands to fight against British and Russian imperialism and the government of Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Armenia operating under their command and influence. The Armenian Bolsheviks were enthusiastic participants in, their, in that negotiations. And the all-out war against Armenia was being shaped under their nose they even helped to achieve that goal. The number of Bolsheviks, um, Bolshevik propagandists and agitators increased in Armenia because when the persecutions and incarcerations of Bolsheviks is escalated in Georgia and Azerbaijan, uh, ARF leaders gave them safe refuge in Armenia and entrusted them with responsible jobs in government and notably in the sphere of education with one condition, that they should not, inc oh. 
Don't I have 25 minutes? Anyway. With one condition. Okay. Uh, that they should not engage in Bolshevik propaganda and activism. But these devoted Bolsheviks spread communist ideas instigated uh, disparate disturbances. The government's leniency lasted until the Bolshevik rather large scale unrest May 1, 1920. To quell the unrest, the ARF Bureau took direct control of the government. There were arrests, even execution and in, uh, of the insurg insurgent leaders. The Bolsheviks fled to Moscow or to the already Sovietized uh, Azerbaijan with exaggerated reports of thousands imprisoned, thousands executed. And they demanded the accelerated uh, Sovietization of Armenia and calling for the Red Army units uh, in Azerbaijan to march into the country, overthrow the Darshnakist government. And all this at a time that when the Armenian delegation uh, was engaged in a negotiation in Moscow with Chechirin and his uh, Armenian deputy, uh, Lev Karakhan. During these negotiations, however, the Bolsheviks were primarily interested in receiving assurance that Armenians would not strike at Turkey when the Turks and the Bolsheviks began their joint operation to oust the European uh, uh, imperialists from the Turkish soil. They also demanded that Armenia break with the Allies and authorize the Soviets to engineer the dismissal of agenda items concerning the Armenian cause from the peace uh, negotiations going on at Versailles. Then the meetings stopped uh, uh, abruptly. Chicherin refused to continue negotiating with the brutal murderers of his uh, communist comrades. Of course, he had other reasons to cut the talks short. The Russo-Turkish pact was in the making and Soviet Azerbaijan was reluctant to re relinquish the lands it was fighting to appropriate. The Armenian Bolsheviks endorsed the Azerbaijani position. A telegram from Stalin to Sergio Orjonagidze, dated July 8, 1920, reveals the underlying Soviet position. We should not endlessly oscillate between the two sides. We should support one in particular. And in this case, it should be Azerbaijan with Turkey. Nothing has changed. Armenian Bolsheviks witnessed the Turkish-Azerbaijani-Russian conspiracy to bring about the demise of the Armenian Republic and applauded it. On September 20th, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Armenia issued a top secret message recommending that in order uh, to achieve the revolution in Transcaucasia and thus the Sovietization of the East, Armenian Bolsheviks uh, should help Kemalist Turkey to defeat the Republic of Armenia. To that end, we need to dissolve the Armenian army by encouraging desertion into indoctrinating soldiers on the front, not to fire at the advancing Turkish soldiers, and disobey the orders of their commanding officers, destroy them if necessary. And indeed, the Bolshevik propaganda machine was working full blast to demoralize the army and destroy the Armenian resistance. But why were the Bolsheviks so Ex uh, successful in their propaganda among the masses? And why did our ARF monopolize the government if it did? Only to have the Armenian Bolsheviks and Soviet historiography label the Free Republic as Dashnak Neri Harabetuchun. Dashnak Tuchun was a majority in uh, consecutive uh, uh, governments. Uh, because others were reluctant to leave the comfort of Tbilisi, take up residence in backward and destitute Gerevan, and assume responsibilities in the volatile situation. Besides, the spirit of cooperation was lacking among the various Armenian political parties. To accept a portfolio uh, in the government was seen as working under the command of Dashtak Calling the Republic Dashnakist was an inter invention of Armenian Bolsheviks. 
because Dashnak Suchun was the force that stood up against Bolshevik usurpation of the Republic. And besides, that was a strategy to cover up the Russo-Turkish collaboration against independent Armenia. And blame Dashnak Suchun for all losses, including the loss of Turkish Armenia. As to the rapid spread of Bolshevik, uh, or rather communist ideology, the reason is in the dire economic situation, the gullibility of the near starving masses to believe that Soviets would bring equality for all, bread and sugar for the destitute, rule of the working class, and struggle against the uh, wealthy brotherhood among nations. Armenia, between the Bolshevik hammer and the Turkish anvil, Hayastana, Bolshevikian Murci, uh, Yev Turkakan. Salimichev. Armenia was, I don't have much. Armenia was caught between two fires. The Turkish army was encroaching upon the Armenian Republic from the west and pushing further inland. On the other hand, the Armenian government and Boris Legrand, the Moscow representative, have finally drafted an agreement calling for the inclusion of Gars and Ardahan in Armenia and for the later settlements of, uh, ref by referendum of all Armenian-Azerbaijani land dispute. But the Caucasian Bureau, Gov Bureau, of the Central Committee of Russia, uh, Russian Communist Party in Baku, with Stalin present, November 4, 1920, rejected it outright and adopted Shavash Amir Khanyan's recommendation. The situation in Armenia is grave, he said and ripe for Sovietization, immediate Sovietization. By the way, this uh, Amir Khanyan is the same person who, together with Avis Nurijanyan, uh, organized and supervised the execution Katz Naharum of imprisoned former leaders of Armenia on February 16 to 18, 1921. Moscow was not rushing, but the coup de force came from Armenian uh, Arm Rev Gom, uh, supported by the Armenian detachment from the Red Army. These forces crossed the border on November 29, entered Ijevan, and declared Armenia Sovietized. How to explain the unseemly rush and ex uh, excessive eagerness to destroy the country? Vladimir Haruchunyan writes, it is wanting to struggle against one's own government and overthrow it, albeit by armed forces. However, it is another thing to destroy one's own independent statehood for the sake of foreign interests and to receive instead the right of a local satrap to rule over the ruins of one's independent state. This is utter treason against, state, uh, against statehood. Of course, Turkey's dangerous advances toward the as, and aspiration to reach Azerbaijan was another factor that excel, accelerated the uh, Sovietization of Armenia. I will leave out the process of Sovietization of Armenia as well as the Armenian-Turkish negotiations and the Treaty of Alexandrabur, but this, it is worth mentioning that Soviet Armenian historians used the Treaty of Alexandrabur against Dashnak Tsuchun but never spoke of the act of Sovietization of Armenia. There was no need to show that down to the last moment of agony, the ARF leaders had labored to secure conditions to benefit the future of Armenia, including the continuation of an independent Armenian state, independent socialist Soviet Republic of Armenia, retention of the entire former Yerevan gubernia and a part of Kars, the region of Zangezur and parts of Karabakh, Kazakh, and the former Tiflis gubernia, which belonged to the Armenian Republic until September 28, 1920 and the provision of military aid by the Red Army to defend the Republic against Turkey. These conditions were obviously violated by the Soviets. Acrimony against Dashnak Tsuchun continued throughout the entire period of Soviet Armenia. It dictated the formation of public opinion and general mindset with the in the, within the Republic. It dictated the Soviet Armenian government's policies vis-a-vis -vis diasporan Armenians with rejection of the diasporan masses and organizations sympathetic to the ARF. 
This mentality is deep-rooted, and it takes a considerable, a conscious effort to eradicate it for the sake of unity and an unbiased national history of the past yet to be written, to reveal past mistakes and shortcomings and learn from them to identify success, successes and emulate them. This is the road to success. Thank you. I'm Arsum Selevian, Evor Archok, Voevet, Sevov, Panak Sutuner, Bolshevik Neru Yev, Anrapelutian, Michev, Badjar Cheran, Vor, Irenkal Antatarnan, Vor, Hamatsainin, Vor, Betke Angah Pedagan, Mutun, Angah Soviet Pedagan, Mutun, Haidar Aren Pohanak, Wagi Sovedagan. Yarki im Achbur Neres, Chenos and Vorhai Bolshevik Nere, Masnak Setsin at Kortainatsman Hamadzain Agri at Vorushman at Banak Suchun Nerin, Yev Ajamanakva, Remen Vratiani, Karabaruchun Nervur Banak Suchun Nerin Mecher, Yev Selini Head, Yev Legrani Head. Եվ ուրեմ է դրանց միջոցով էր, որ անկաղ բարը անպայման պետք է գործածվեր։ Մեկ բան էլ, որ ավելացն է, որ ժամնակ չունեի ասելու, Հայաստանը պիտի բոլչ է խորդայն են անար, այսինքը այդպիսի իրավիճակում շատ պարձ էր, որ Հայաստանը պիտի խորդայն անար։ Իմ կարծիքը այն է, որ եթե հայ բոլշևիքները նման աշխատանքների մեջ չլինեին, նման գործ թե այդքան պոքր տեղամասով, ոչ թե այդքան նեղ սահմաններով, բայց իր սահմաններով, որ հասել էր 70 հազարի։